This is a humpback whale. These awe-inspiring giants have made a remarkable return from the brink of extinction. And while whaling is no longer a threat off British Columbia's coast, humpbacks face other risks to their survival. It is now common for humpbacks to be feeding where people boat and fish. So there's awareness needed for the sake of human and whale safety. To avoid the risk of collision, it's essential to realize that humpbacks can surface very unpredictably and suddenly become acrobatic. Be on the lookout for blows, and if you see a blow, go slow. They can be oblivious of boats and really need their space. Collisions have led to severe injuries for whales and boaters. Many humpbacks are also getting entangled in fishing gear and marine debris. It's really important to know what to do and what not to do to give an entangled whale the best chance of survival and not put yourself at risk. I'm gonna cut it loose. No way, we've gotta call for help. He's so right. Without training and specialized equipment, not only would it be very dangerous to try to disentangle the whale, it would not help the whale. By removing the fishing gear visible at the surface, it would make the situation much worse. Here's why. This is what they can't see. If the fishing gear visible at the surface had been cut away, the whale would still be severely entangled, but it would no longer be possible to recognize that the whale is in trouble. The rope or net trailing behind the whale is of vital importance because responders may need to attach a tracking tag. The tag sends out a signal to ensure the whale can be relocated if responders need to leave because of weather, nightfall, or because more equipment or expertise is needed. The rope or net trailing behind the whale is also critical in the rescue operation because trained responders can use this gear to attach buoys that help slow down the whale. This increases their chances of approaching the whale, assessing how the whale is entangled, and then removing all the gear. It is vitally important that all the rope or net is removed during the rescue operation. This is because over time, entanglements can cause serious injuries and infections. Death may also ultimately result because the entanglement can restrict the whale's ability to travel and feed effectively. So what should you do if you encounter an entangled whale? One, immediately report the entanglement. In British Columbia, the response is coordinated by DFO. Call the Marine Mammal Incident Reporting Line or use VHF Channel 16. Two, relay your location and if at all possible, keep track of the whale until trained responders arrive. If another boat takes over tracking, ensure they have the correct whale in sight. Three, from a safe distance and without further stressing the whale, Take photos or video of the whale and the entangling gear. British Columbia's coast is so large, it can sometimes take hours to get the necessary equipment and expertise to the entangled whale. Because successfully disentangling a whale can be so complex, a high level of training and experience is required. Hey, thanks for staying with the whale or we may not have found it. Train disentanglement responders are on the way, but in the meantime, we're gonna put a tracking tag on the trailing rope. If those with this high level of expertise are not the first on scene, as is the case here, there are fisheries officers, researchers and guardian watchmen who have the training to attach a tracking tag if needed. Being able to keep track of the whale and relocate it are absolutely key to being able to save it. Once the responders with the necessary expertise arrive, they fully assess the entanglement and determine how best to proceed. Responders use specialized tools designed to maximize the chances of removing all the gear, strategically and safely. No one ever gets into the water during these rescue operations. Hey, isn't that the whale we reported? Hey, it is. That's how you save a whale.